Now, this Assistant Commissioner Lean at the weekend virtually said that the Apex Gang, if it did exist, it wasn't, it's almost gone. It reminded me of when Police Commissioner Mrs Doubtfire said the Kensington gangs didn't, you couldn't call them Africans and you couldn't call them African gangs. gangs. They didn't exist. They weren't gangs at all. Now, he's saying that, oh, this, the Apex, it's not really a proper gang because they didn't have office holders or anything. So I guess in West Side Story, the Jets and the Sharks, they weren't gangs because they didn't have office holders. That is just blinkered stupidity. Mm. So that, yeah... It is. It's a huge issue in Victoria. I don't think you well, can underestimate things like the, the home and the home invasions, the carjackings. This is happening more in Melbourne than any other city in Australia. Why? Uh, lack of authority. No, no, no respect for authority. When you've got the Department of Corrections spokesman saying that um, when Barwon blew up in another bit of a fight, oh, some clients are fighting with other clients. They're not clients. They are crims. I said uh, the other day... Well, actually, they're on remand. They're, well, they're still cr- they're, okay, but they're not clients. They're not crims. They're prisoners yeah. on remand. Now, I, you got on, on... When I was in Canberra the other time, you got that great line from the Ombudsman, and I quoted you in, in Parliament, about the fact that... Uh, what the government was spending uh, money, Uber and taxi rides, to take parents from the city to the country to visit kids who are only in the country because they destroyed city jails. Mm. They had, they'd only run up a couple hundred dollars. Each time? No. no total, I reckon. Oh, rubbish. It'd cost you $200 <laughs> to take an Uber out to, out to the country.